happy Webtoon Wednesday. almost forgot what I was going to say. So I'm going to talk about a webtoon called In the Bleak Midwinter. This one I picked up, I was just kind of looking for something different from like my normal romance one. And this one's kind of sci-fi futuristic, but it is super, super good. So you start off with Anya and she's actually putting herself in like to a into a cryogenic sleep. So she puts herself into a cryogenic sleep and there are many years that pass. There's like 25 years that passed or 20 years that passed and she wakes up because there is a whole lot of stuff going on. Like a lot of other people who are in cryogenic sleep end up being dead and, and the world outside is basically poison. What happened was that since this is a futuristic story, all of the AIs, the artificial intelligence, the robots, they actually became at war. They became at war with humans. So what Anya is told is that the humans and the robots, they start bombing each other and because they start bombing each other, Chemicals are released into the atmosphere and people start dying and people can't breathe the air now in the very first chapter Anya meets the main male character who is The bad guy, but also in this futuristic realm you have these numbers on your wrist and it's actually like a countdown to when you'll meet your soulmate and once all of this chaoticness happens and you know humanity pretty much basically is so close to dying out like the humans aren't really winning this battle against the AIs so a lot of people like their numbers when they go like when they get all zeroed out or they get X'd out means that their soulmate died somewhere in the world and to a lot of people that kind of like breaks their heart or breaks their spirit and it makes them really hard to move forward but for Anya her number actually what happens is when she wakes up from cryogenic sleep it like goes to the zeros which indicates that she has met her soulmate and her soulmate is the guy who kills her and it's so bizarre and i'm not necessarily giving anything away because this is within the first chapter of the story so what happens is this guy the robot kills her the AI kills her and he also happens to be her soulmate at the same time which sounds crazy but he is so she knows he's the soulmate to her but at the same time you know she dies so it's kind of weird when you're reading through it you're like okay our main character just died like are we just gonna follow the AI now like was that just kind of like how it happens no that's not how it happens she comes back to life so apparently she has something within her body, within her genes, maybe it's nanobots, you know, that's still being worked out, but she doesn't die. So not only does she come back to life after being shot in the head, she can also breathe the air outside. So even though the air is poison, poison and toxic to other humans, like pretty much they become uh, they get radiation poisoning from being outside and they die within like, you know, maybe an hour But she lives and she's fine and on top of that She ends up being able to meet her brother along the way. He is still alive Even though he's like 20 years older and he's a grumpy a-hole. He ends up Shooting her and killing her as well. This is within the first five or ten chapters that you read Now again, she lives and comes back to life, which he's like, oh, I'm sorry I did that Anyway, though, so you go through where she is running from the AI who happens to be her true love, but she also wants to be with him and protect him, and she doesn't know if she should trust her brother. It's really good. I can't express how good it is. The artwork's really good. I pulled up the artwork because I was going to show, show you guys. Again, using Google to show up artwork. So he is handsome. You got to give it to the creator she sure knows how to make one handsome looking ai and he is super cool he's a major awesome mom said a bad word he is he's bad to the bone he is bad to the bone it is really really well done i'm looking forward to new chapters it is still ongoing so i think i've read like 
I've read up to like however many chapters are available right now. But I'm looking forward to more. So I'm very excited every time I get a notification that a new chapter is out for this. Because it's really good and something different that I don't usually read. I don't really read a lot of futuristic sci-fi kind of webtoons. But I'm really enjoying this one. So if you are into something like that, I would definitely recommend it. Also, the main female character isn't like a really weak character. She's kind of timid, but again, she's kind of waking up into this new world after, you know, being put into cryo sleep. You know, her sister died before she went into cryo sleep, and now she's being awoken into this whole new world. And she's been killed like twice already within the first 15 chapters. So, I mean, she's, she's okay. To, it's okay to be a little timid. I'd be a little confused and timid too. But it is so good. And I cannot wait for more to come out. Highly recommend my cat. Anyway, thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and you stay safe out there. Bye. Bye again. Bye.